I can't do this. That's what I've been telling myself for months now. No matter what, I'd always find an excuse or a reason to do anything else but actually start posting videos again. I'll start when I get that new lens. Life has been busy or stressful, I don't have time. My ideas aren't good enough, I'll spend another week working on them. The moon isn't quite in the right place this week. I'll try again tomorrow. These are the excuses I told myself as I wanted to get started. However, I ended up wasting time playing on my phone or binge watching another series on Netflix for the hundredth time. We've all been there at some point in life though, whether that's starting a new hobby or trying to exercise a little bit more, maybe even start your own business. Doing new things is very hard. Why is it though that we have such a hard time with that stuff? Like, for some reason, even things we really want to do, we still struggle starting and actually taking those first few steps. If I'm being honest, I think a lot of the time it comes down to fear, whether that's fear of the unknown or fear of failure or fear of being ridiculed by your friends and family for finding out that you're doing something a little bit different. A lot of the time we just get very scared of the unknown and what will happen if we do something. I think one of the main issues is when we start things, we kind of focus on the end goal and what we want to be in like five years, even 10 years time and that becomes a little bit unimaginable for us it's too big of a goal so we have to break those ideas down into smaller more manageable chunks so that we can do things day to day to get there take me for example before the pandemic i used to work out go to the gym five six days a week which i wouldn't advise most people to do but i built up to it over many years however over the last two years i've basically just sat home doing nothing not exercising at all and now it's very hard to actually do that so i've had to break it down into smaller things instead so instead of going to the gym five or six days a week like I used to, instead I'm going on these daily walks for an hour, which equals about two miles or so. And that seems way more manageable and I can build upon that over time to get back to where I was. And it's the exact same thing with video and content creation. A year or so ago, I was doing daily TikToks. I was uploading weekly on YouTube as well as doing all my professional work outside of that as well. And that amount of work to do now would be insane and frankly, just impossible. And much like the gym, I can't jump straight back into doing all of that work all at once. So for now, starting this new channel, I'm basically just doing one or maybe two videos a month if I can manage it and then hopefully getting back into TikTok and then trying to fit all my professional work around that as well. And I completely understand that that's not the only reason why people don't start doing this stuff for me personally obviously it was like a time management thing mixed in with like mental health problems and the whole pandemic and work issues and trying to balance all that while everything's going on so that was just impossible so i took a break for a while and now i'm building back up again but a lot of people don't start because they think they don't have the right equipment or their ideas aren't good enough or they aren't skilled enough but the thing is with those or at least most of those that stuff comes with time one of the things is like we always tell ourselves that we can't do something and we'll make up these stupid excuses for no reason and we just sometimes have to take that leap of faith and just get going. And that's precisely what I'm trying to do with this channel at the moment. I haven't created for myself in close to a year now, so I'm trying to at least take that first step and get moving. I don't expect these videos to be the best thing I've ever made, but how am I supposed to improve if I'm not actually doing the thing? And speaking of doing the thing, my partner now has been doing full-time content creation for about six months or so. During the whole pandemic, they had a bit of a, a rise on TikTok as well as growing up Instagram following and stuff and turning that into somewhat of a career. However, during that time they got diagnosed with a chronic illness which meant that they couldn't work to the same capacity as they once would so they'd either be very tired during the day or have a lot of pain and wouldn't be able to actually do anything that they wanted to do but as someone who's a lot more organized than i am and actually makes notes and writes things down which is something i really need to do but really don't do they're probably a better person to ask about how they're dealing with organizing this stuff the biggest challenge i face when it comes to making content the first is my health uh, mental and physical. Having chronic illness makes doing anything difficult. You know, you have to kind of try to measure your energy and figure out how much you have to spend, how much you can afford to spend on creating. I think it's very easy for your audience to forget just how much effort goes into it and therefore it's easy for you to put pressure on yourself to try and create, which then is counterintuitive, not only for the creative process, but you know, for your health and your well-being. And I think the other big obstacle, which plays into this a lot, uh, is fear. And I think that that's something that everyone can relate to. And it's really not helpful because ultimately life is full of problems and your life is often spent problem solving and that's actually one of the beautiful things in life that leads to so much creativity so really you have to choose 
what problems you want to spend your energy on, what solutions you're interested in finding and creating. I think making sure that you return to the core of your passion and your reason for creating is a core element to overcoming that fear because it reminds you why you chose to solve these problems it reminds you why like this is something that you are happy or you know you enjoy the struggle you enjoy that challenge you enjoy learning the new thing so that you can then achieve that new thing and learn the next new thing the fear has a purpose but it shouldn't hold me back because i actually cannot predict the future i do not know for certain and i don't want to let my anxiety based on the past hold me back from living in my present and creating my future ultimately i think it just comes down to allowing yourself to get outside of your comfort zone a little bit you want to lean into that fear because nothing worth doing is ever going to be easy really so if you're really passionate about doing what you want to do, you should just kind of start doing it even if you fail at first because the first step to actually succeeding is making a bunch of mistakes because that's the best way to learn really. It's just do the thing, make some mistakes, learn from those mistakes and then eventually just get better over time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and at least got a little something out of it. I personally will be trying to not worry so much about making mistakes or doing things that I consider a failure and hopefully just learn from those and be better. If you did enjoy the video, remember to give me a like down below it really does help with the algorithm and the youtube gods go follow pixie on all the socials which i'll leave in the doobly-doo down below and if you aren't already subscribe to the channel and i will see you all in the next one